Hello, spring breakers. This is enough to depress anyone. Here we are, springtime, where I live on my little pork chop of an island here in Grand Island, and I'm looking at snow and, of course, some robins out there, but this is what we get for spring. I'm not on spring break, but I know a lot of teachers are. So welcome, I'll give people a few minutes to come in. I know it's always hard for people to come in in the middle of the day here. Showing you some snow. Don't mean to depress anybody showing you this snow, but there's what I'm looking at today. Let me turn this around and I'll say hello. Hello, this is Mary Howard. I'm a sixth grade teacher here in Grand Island, New York, and I'm sharing some ideas with you today about using animated short films for instruction. So I'm gonna show you three tools that you might find useful on your computer if you're working with animated short films or if you wanna use them in some way for instruction. Oh, that Robin just went right past my window. So let me show you what I'm known for. My TPT store, I have a lot of products that relate to animated films. And what I like to do is I like to use them to help isolate um, reading strategies for the kids. You can really succinctly use an animated short film for instruction with little stop points and have the students focus in on um, something a character is saying and, and help with characterization or maybe an event that took place in the story and we can identify foreshadowing or flashbacks and things like that. So let me show you a couple of those and I'm going to show you how I make them using some really cool digital tools. So I'm going to turn you around again. Show you. This is what I'm talking about. I actually did this one in the class today. It features a film called Ormi. If you haven't seen the video Ormi and you just want something to entertain your kids, you are welcome to snap that. Let me tell you, it is so much fun. It's like three minutes long and it'll have your kids giggle, giggle, giggling about this little pig that just simply can't get the cookies. So we did it as a stop um, animation to teach us how to write using signal words in our writing for cause and effect. So we, I had the students making sentences using these stems that correspond with different sections in the video. So we would stop at a certain stop point, we would write the cause, we would write the effect, and then the kids would practice using those signal words that I gave them for writing uh, cause and effect. So I've done this with a whole lot of different videos. I've got cause and effect. I have another one that's it's called Bebo. It's for um, foreshadowing and flashback. I have another one that's an Alma is the name of the film, and it's for inferring. I've done plot structure and things like that. So if you're interested in that, that's on my Using Your Smarticles store, but it's really not the purpose of this scope today. What I want to show you is how I make them, because I think you might like these digital tools. So I'm going to take you over to my computer. I'll show you something that I discovered that's really super cool. It's called Video not.es. I hope that focuses in for you. Video not.es. And what's really neat about it is you can take any video URL and you can put it in here and the video will run. When you get an idea or a thought about that video, so let's see if I have one. I don't have one to paste in there really quickly. If you get a, a thought about the video, I'm going to copy our URL from YouTube and I'm going to paste it into this so I could show you. It will show you the point at which you took those notes. So I'm going to back up here. So I'm plugging in this video featuring Ormi because he's, I think this is Ormi because he's just adorable. Nope, this is actually another one. Okay, so the video is going to run. And as I watch the video on this side of the screen, if I get a thought or an idea about that video and I start typing it, it indicates the section of the video Wow, are we blurry today? My apologies. I do not know what's going on with my phone. But what I love about video not.es is it gives me the timestamp. So wherever it was in the video that I had that thought or idea, it gives me a timestamp. So that's what I'm able to use to create my little stop points in the videos for the students. So I really like that one, especially if you're taking a grad, a grad class, maybe you have to analyze a video and you have to take notes on the video. I think it's a real succinct way. And what I also love about it is this shares with your Google Drive. So as soon as you're finished, you click share and it will save right to your Google Drive. So all those notes are right there that correspond with the video. So it's all in one place. So video not.es is the first tool I want to share with you. 
Tool number two is called Edpuzzle. I don't know if anybody has ever heard about Edpuzzle, but this one is super cool for working with animated videos. And what this one does is if you're showing a video to your students, you can actually insert a question or a reflection question or a stop point or an audio comment or anything into the video and then you can push it out to your classes. And if you are someone who uses a classroom management system such as Edmodo or Google Classroom, it syncs with that. So you don't even have to input your student names, you don't have to input student rosters, which I thought was awesome. So you build, essentially you build a video with your own stop questions in it and it syncs with your classes and you push it out to your classes and they can answer the questions and it'll actually grade the, the uh, video for you. So I thought that was a really, really cool one and that's called Ed Puzzle. So I'm apologizing for the blurriness today. I don't know why we're getting such blurry, blurry. Ed Puzzle is that one. And then I stumbled across a third one that you might be interested in. This one is called Play Posit. If you can't see that, there's a little eye in there. Play Posit, and it does the same thing. They call them, well, hello, Jen Jones, the person I wish I was someday. I think everybody wants to grow up to be Jen Jones someday. <laughs> I only say that, Jen, because I did a scope uh, a couple of weeks ago. I do these thank you notes on Sunday nights, and I did a face swap with you, and it was the silliest thing. I don't think you ever got to see it, but it was the silliest thing because I wanted to be just like you someday. It was cute. So, welcome. I'm so glad you're here. So, Play Posit is this final one that I'm sharing, and it does the same thing. They call them bulbs on this particular site, but it allows you to put questions or <laughs> questions or reflections or stop points in videos and then push those videos out to your students so they can interact with the video. Um, I think it's really, really great. Aw, thanks. You're so sweet. Um, I love Snapchat. Follow me on Snapchat viewers. It's at Mrs. Howard 118. I'm having so much fun with Snapchat. It's a little bit silly, but it's awesome. Um, so play positive is this one and I recommend it especially if you are like a, a content area teacher such as maybe social studies or science because there is just a wealth huge repository of videos available even in YouTube wherever you're gonna look and I just like the fact that it's one thing to show a video static to your students and they're sitting there watching I think it's another thing when you can integrate <laughs> yes Jen and your evil she thought I was a creeper and she blocked me from her Periscope and I cried for like hours when Jen Jones blocked me on Periscope. I was very, very sad. Um, so these bulbs are kind of neat. So I'm not going to, this isn't a tutorial today. In fact, maybe on my YouTube channel, I'll do a really thorough tutorial, but I just wanted to give you a couple tips today. So Play Posit was one, and Puzzle is two. And the third one is video not.es. So those are my three animated short films. Those are my three tips for today. So if you're working with animated short films, I recommend checking out those three websites. I am so glad you all tuned in. It's really great to see everybody, especially you, Jen Jones. And I'll see you around Snapchat. I'll see you around Periscope. And I have, hope everybody's having a great day. Bye.